thought I'd uh, just take this opportunity for breaking wind to say hello and uh, welcome to Frogger Edge. Here we are. So this is uh, I done some of these edges in my younger days. Um, Frogger Curve, uh, you know, Basel. I, I don't know which ones I've done. I don't know which ones I've not done. Um, all kinds of blends into one. Especially like you know, 20 plus year old memories. So, I, this might be the first time I've ever been here, it might not be. Uh, so, thought I'd come for a, a nice gentle walk today. It turned out quite a good day, um, a tad windy, or it certainly has been on way up here. Recording this video a different way around as well. Usually, I record, I, I pick a point, walk to it, and record on the way there. Um, we're, today we're recording from way back down, so I started up on up at top of Frogger Edge. Well, I've not actually started there, but I started recording at top of Frogger Edge. As I, I started uh, down the long shore, I had a walk on. So I'm going to walk back down, do a bit of recording. Uh, I'm going to tag Stoke Flats Stone Circle as well on the way down. So it should be, should be good. ever so busy up here real popular spot obviously especially on a decent day like today keep having to stop recording to you know I don't I don't want to intrude on people's you know quiet time and the time they, they come to get away from all the noise so I just you know I don't record when anyone else is around I also don't want to really listen to me I don't know why because I end up putting it on YouTube for people to watch anyway so seems a little bit silly anyway we're coming up on uh, Stoke Flat Stone Stoke Flat Stone Circle so let's have a, have a quick bobbin and have a look at that so here we are at Stoke Flat Stone Circle I think that's what it's called anyway so I'm just going to spin camera I can count about seven of these reasonably prominent stones, quite big ones, and there's, there's a hell of a lot of smaller ones dotted around, but you can see uh, one, two, three, four there, five, six, and then count that as seven, and then there's this absolutely colossal one, must stand over kind of a meter high, I don't know whether this on the top is like carved out on purpose or if it's kind of done through weathering difficult to tell it looks to me as though there's, a, there's like an inner ring and an outer ring of stones which I might be completely wrong with that you know that time could have shifted them it could have been intentional I, I really don't know so they reckon that this is kind of one entrance to the stone circle between these two larger ones and then the other entrance is exactly opposite which would make it around here and you can kind of see that because like these these more prominent stones here kind of form that that entrance and an exit or double entrances could be called um dating back to bronze age uh yeah decent you know it's it's all right it's bottom bottom if i'm honest with you but not a lot used to me really so yeah, I've enjoyed that. Nice, nice little stone circle. Regular viewers at channel know I, know I love a good stone circle. I think I'm doing a, a feature video on stone circles in the Peak District at some point. A little um, guided tour around them, as as much as I can guide you anyway. Um, it's difficult to teach other people when you know nothing to start with yourself. But you know me, I'll wing it. Just noticed on camera now, I'm uh, ready for a bit of a trim. Looking a bit rough, if I'm honest with you. So, might uh, have to 
see if my mate can sort that out for me soon. Make sure it shuts. Bob on that. So mostly off a of frog edge now. Um, I think this is a uh, that's kind of final rock before we hit the road. I mean, I don't even know if that's considered a frog edge. Probably not. I think the edge starts a little bit further back there. Um, so we're just on this little descent back down at road crossover, and now I can get back into where I've parked. So that's uh, just a quick look at. Frogger Edge and Stoke Flat Stone Circle. See you next time, thank you. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting and all that shaznat that comes with, uh, with YouTubing. Bon voyage.